Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the Middle European Math Olympiad 2023 problem T7. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all positive integers n such that we can find positive integers a and b satisfying a greater than b and n equals to 4ab divided by a minus b. If we take a look at this expression here, we see that the term in the numerator has degree 2 and both of the summons here in the denominator have degree 1. This means that if we multiply both of the variables by a constant c, then the whole expression here multiplies by a constant c. The reason for this is that 4 times ca times cb divided by ca minus cb is equal to c times 4ab divided by a minus b. This means that if we find a solution n, then all multiples of n work. And therefore, we are motivated to take a closer look on numbers for n that have not that many divisors. The perfect choice for this is a prime number p. So let p be prime, and we consider the equation p equals 4ab divided by a minus b. We see that p must divide the numerator of the right-hand side, which means that p divides 4ab. And it would be nice if p also divides the product a times b. And therefore, we want to consider the two different cases, that p is equal to 2 and that p is not equal to 2. The case p equals 2 is indeed not possible for size reasons, because 4 times ab divided by a minus b is greater than 4ab divided by a. And this is now equal to 4b, which is greater than or equal to 4 because b is a positive integer. This tells us that n is greater than or equal to 5, and therefore we can indeed assume here that p is not equal to 2. This means that p divides a times b, and since p is a prime number, p must divide a or p must divide b. We can directly exclude the second case because we have that 4ab divided by a minus b is greater than 4 times b, and if p divides b, then this is greater than or equal to 4 times p, and therefore this can't be equal to p. This means that we can write a equals to k times p, where k is a positive integer, and therefore this equation here becomes p equals to 4 times k times p times b, divided by k times p minus b. We can divide both sides by p and multiply by the denominator of the right-hand side to get that this is equivalent to k times p minus b is equal to 4kb. Bringing the b to the right-hand side gives us that k times p is equal to 4k plus 1 times b. If we take a look at the greatest common divisor of k and 4k plus 1, we see that this is equal to the greatest common divisor of k and 1 because we can subtract 4 times k from the right term here, and this is equal to 1. Therefore, since 4k plus 1 divides k times p, and 4k plus 1 and k are co-prime, we get that 4k plus 1 must divide p. Since p is a prime number, this directly implies that the left-hand side is equal to 1 or p itself, but since k is a positive integer, this is greater than 1, and we conclude that 4k plus 1 equals p. Taking b equal to k indeed satisfies this equation here, and therefore, for a prime number p equal to 4k plus 1, we find a and b satisfying this equation here. We see that this construction here also works for an arbitrary integer n equal to 4k plus 1, where k is a positive integer. Moreover, we remember that if we find a solution n, then also n times a constant c is a solution. And therefore, if we find an integer d dividing n, and satisfying d equals to 4k plus 1 with k in the positive integers, then this also works. The other result we get out of this argument here is that if n is equal to 4k plus 3 prime, then this is not a solution. We have now dealt with all odd integers, because if n is congruent to 1 modulo 4, then we are in this case, and if n is congruent to 3 modulo 4, a prime number, we are in this case, and otherwise we can find a divisor d of n 
satisfying b equals 4k plus 1. So it is left to consider even values for n. And here we want to try a similar approach as before, but if we just let n equals to 2k, we don't get a general result. Thus, we again want to consider the residue class of n modulo 4 and start with the case that n is equal to 4k plus 2. This means that our equation becomes 2k plus 1 should be equal to 2ab divided by a minus b. Our approach is again to write a equals to 2k plus 1 times l to get that this is equal to 2 times 2k plus 1 times l times b divided by 2k plus 1 times l minus b. Rearranging as before gives us that 2k plus 1 times l is equal to 2l plus 1 times b. Taking b equal to l and l equal to k indeed satisfies this equation here and therefore this case here works. Our last case is that n is equal to 4k and here our equation becomes k equals ab divided by a minus b. Again we take a equals to k times l and get that this is equal to k times l times b divided by k times l minus b. Rearranging gives us that k times l is equal to l plus 1 times b. We want to take b equal to l equal to k minus 1 to satisfy this equation here. Here we have to watch out that k minus 1 is a positive integer and therefore this works for all k greater than or equal to 2. So we cover every n equal to 4k where n is greater than or equal to 5. And this means that we have considered all the cases and therefore we are done.